Hello my friends and welcome back to another Rotato Danger 5 random random run. Hope you're all doing well. Today of course we're taking a random character and random weapon and trying to beat Danger 5 with it. This will be video number 18 in the series so I will spoil the results of the previous 17. If you haven't seen them yet, go check them out if you want to watch them spoiler free. So going into this video we are at 3 losses and 14 wins having just come off of a loss that I really didn't need to lose but ended up playing a little badly in the last couple rounds and so I'm really hoping we can turn that around because I only have one more loss I can give if I want to stay at 80% by the time we hit 20 games played. Um, every 10 games is kind of a good benchmark and 80% uh, just to see sort of where we're at win rate wise and 80% is the win rate goal I've set for myself. So let's see what we get. All right, we've gotten the king. I don't believe I've done the king yet, so this should be a fun one. Uh, king is a really fun class, and I think, generally speaking, fairly strong. I'm really hoping that we roll one of the unique-ish weapons for king. Those are circular saw and hammer and sword. Other characters don't get to start with level 2 weapons, so they don't really get access to these. With the king, I did spiky shield for my guide, so we will re-roll if we hit that one, but otherwise anything should be fair game. Let's see what we get. All right, we got Circular Saw. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This is, I think, an excellent weapon that you really don't normally get to pick. You get Blade and Medical Tags, which are good tags with sort of bad weapons attached to them, typically, meaning that you are going to end up with a lot of regen from both of those tags. Uh, as well, you just have native 45% lifesteal, and it's got decent attack rate and damage rate, so looking forward to this one. We'll try to go with just mono circular saw, I think. Let's see how we can do. We will have the problem that we can't buy other weapons until level we can't buy more circular saws until level two weapons start showing up in the shop because it doesn't spawn at level one and unlike the knight i don't think the king has the thing where you spawn level two weapons starting at level one um so we're gonna have to play around that in some way we'll also be decreasing our max hp so i'm gonna heavily value taking max hp increases just to remind you because the king is a weird one um you get 50 luck which is great, of course. It lets you get these higher level items sooner. Um, extra damage for every tier 4 weapon and attack speed for every tier 4 weapon. So if anything, we've leveled up to level 4. But we lose uh, damage and attack speed for every level 1 weapon we have in our inventory. We also lose 2 maximum HP every time we pick a tier 1 item. So non-weapon items. Meaning that we have to be very picky about what we pick. So for example, if I took this alien worm, I would only get one max HP from it. I'm going to reroll this whole shop. There's nothing here that we want. I'm not really sure what we're going to buy level one in terms of weapons. We probably will need some, um, but I'm not certain what we actually want in terms of giving us the ability to clear these waves. I could take, like, the chopper just to make sure we still have blade tags, and that might be good. You usually don't want, like, you want to have multiple level 2 weapons on this character, so I would have to find another chopper, but I think in order to facilitate us just having some wave clear, I think it's worth doing this. So we're going to combine this, and then I could buy the weird ghost. It's only worth 1 max HP to us, but 14 for 1 max HP is pretty good. Um, and we will be able to heal reasonably well, I think, and hopefully just don't just randomly die. I'm not going to take Terrified Onion here, and I'm not going to reroll to try to lock another weapon. Now that we have two, I think we're in okay shape, and we can try to roll for more, um, more circular saws as soon as those become available to us in the shop. I don't actually know what level you can first start spawning level two weapons. I think it's... Uh, this next shop coming up, but it might be the one after that. I just don't know off the top of my head. Oh, I, wanna, I wanted to get that tree. Really wish I'd gotten it. Breaking trees is really important on this character because you have bonus luck. I'm going to take the harvesting. King doesn't have any harvesting penalties or anything like that, so you can get harvesting. You are slightly worse at picking up harvesting than other characters because level 1 items are worse for you, and you don't have as easy access to level 1 items as other characters, but it's still worth doing. 
Um, I'm going to lock the dangerous bunny. Do I want to lose 2 HP to take the weird food here? So we would lose 2 maximum HP, because it's a unique level 1 item. One other advantage to buying stuff like weird ghost is now we can buy it again and still get 3 max HP, um, rather than getting only 2, because... Uh, we already have one. It only You only get the penalty for every different item. I think it is worth suffering minus two max HP to buy the weird food here. And then I'm going to re-roll once with the dangerous bunny locked to see if we can roll a circular saw. All right, so we're going to be at one HP, so I need to be very careful off the beginning of this round. But with 45% lifesteal on our medical saw, as well as very high luck, we should be able to heal that back up pretty quickly, I think. Ideally, before we die. <laughs> Have not dropped a consumable yet, which is a little concerning. I also really do need to find some damage right now, because we're our the actual damage of our weapons is not good, and we only have two weapons. So I, I'm gonna need to find some way to increase our damage. A little bit of percent damage would be pretty good. I think we can do better though. We are king, so we have 50 luck. We're very likely to roll level two upgrades. Uh, do I just take five harvesting here? I Guess so, yeah, I'll just do that. You know, you take the Dangerous Bunny, this doesn't cost us any HP, and will give us a lot of free rerolls. Although, with only 58, we made almost no money that round. I think it, it, it's riskier to do that. I think we do need to do that. And I also think I might need to just buy, like, this rock, just so we have another weapon. Because we haven't found any more circular saws yet. Maybe I just reroll, though. Try to lock one or two. I should have locked that uh, second weird food also. Um, this will give us additional harvesting, so that's worth picking up. Need to find weapons, though. Not having guaranteed weapons is really difficult. So I may have crippled the build by trying to lean too hard into buying only circular saws. Should have bought more um, choppers. Now that we haven't rolled anymore, <laughs> we're having a really hard time finding weapons. Had to break that tree. Did walk into that, but that's okay. All right, made a little more money that way, if that's good. Let's recycle this. We don't want to decrease our speed at all. Recycle this, because we don't want to decrease any of that. Great, we get some melee damage. That's very important to us. Uh, and here I'm going to take some armor, because we currently have none. Okay, so... Do I just start buying choppers at this point? It's really not what I want to be buying but we have no weapons. I think we've got to buy this to go up to 21 harvesting and then reroll looking for more circular saws. I'll still buy the fertilizer. It costs us two HP, but we need that and okay. We are in trouble, I would say. Do I want the baby elephant? This is a way to kill stuff. I was not expecting to roll no more circular saws um, by this point in the in the game. I think that's pretty unlikely, although I haven't done the math. If we had found a couple more of those, then we would be in much better shape, of course. Only two weapons by wave five is rough. We're not out of it, but I've definitely made this harder than it had to be. We'll call it a challenge run. Circular Saw is, is like the best weapon that you never buy, um, so I was really excited to use it because it it's so rare that you actually get to use it, and then maybe I leaned too hard into that, uh, that fact and have put ourselves in, in trouble here. Now that we have more harvesting, though, we're in slightly better shape. I'll definitely take this percent damage. That will help a lot. I will take more armor, I think. We need max HP, but a level 2 upgrade is good, and I don't think we can afford to take all of this harvesting at this point. Attack speed will also be very valuable, so I'll take that. And then finally, we get another weapon. That's great. Um, yeah, so Baby Elephant, I think, is good, even though it costs us health, because it will help us clear. But I'm going to buy the little muscly dude first, and then throw in a reroll. Um, do I want one more reroll? We're still guaranteed to find one weapon in this shop, so rolling is good because it can help us find more saws. 
we're still not in great shape, but now that we've found three weapons, I'm feeling a lot safer anyways. Basically, the goal is going to be to end up at a point where we have enough health, armor, and lifesteal that we can just wade into groups of enemies, because we're going to end up with like 50% lifesteal. And as long as we're attacking very quickly, our medical saws will keep us alive, no problem. Um, but we need to reach the point where our defensive stats are good enough to be able to wade into groups of enemies without dying, which is going to be a bit yet, because we got off to a slow economic start. The amount of harvesting we managed to pick up will help, though. Um, I'm just going to boost our luck here. A little more luck never hurt anyone. And definitely want to increase acid. And I will take baby elephant. That will help us clear. Let's roll. Can we get another saw? We cannot. Definitely not taking claw tree. Although crit chance is pretty good on these things. But we can't afford to lose 3 HP for that. Roll again here. Cyberball, now that we already have Baby Elephant too, is even more interesting. I think we're never building Dodge, so I may pick up another little frog for 10 more harvesting. No, I think at this point it's too uh, too late to be trying to do that. Um, is it worth re-rolling? We've got a Cyberball locked. I can maybe try to lock a Circular Saw. I will throw in one more re-roll, I think. Nothing here. Let's just go to the next wave. So obviously we are not going to have the damage to easily clear the slashers, so we're going to try to break eggs as much as we can. Just because we only have three weapons, so. <laughs> you can see, obviously, our healing needs are, are totally taken care of um, between our consumable healing and our um, circular saws. I I don't know how I didn't take a hit there. There definitely was not space for my character to fit along the edge of the arena there. I knew there was a tree up here, so I wanted to go clear it. And I know there's one up here. These are awkwardly placed trees. Alright, so we're still pretty behind economically speaking, but Poisonous Tonic will help a lot. Great item to have found there. Um, do I want 15 luck? Uh, now that we're buying Cyberball and Baby Elephant, that will help a lot. All right, well, I mean, I can't pass up a nuke launcher, right? Um, even though it is not at all in the, in the <laughs> spirit of this challenge. Uh, it's just so much fun to buy a nuke launcher at this point. So we're going to do that. We'll just be king with a nuke and buy a cyberball. Um, cake I'm also going to buy. It's only one max HP because of the king loss, HP loss. But one magic, max HP is still good for us. And... Any future cakes we find will be good. So we're going to lock the nuclear launcher. And actually, I think I'm not going to. And the reason for this is I actually don't think it will even be that strong for us. Because it's so expensive. Um, it is really fun, obviously. But uh, I also do want to try to make the all circular saw thing work. Um, I'm going to take this because we need speed. Yeah, I think that's still good. And then uh, we would have to buy some ranged damage as well. Our percent damage is pretty low and our attack speed isn't great. So I don't think the nuke launcher would solve all our problems anyways. I was really hoping to find another circular saw. It's ridiculous that we haven't found any, any more than two. I'm also just kind of enjoying this run where we are in total poverty mode looking for circular saws. If we lose, it's never let it be said that it's because I made all the right decisions and lost anyways. But now that we have um, the baby elephants and cyber balls, we're actually getting a decent amount of damage from those. So we're, we're getting some wave clear as a result of having those, which is helping a little bit. The problem, of course, is that we can't actually kill things to start those chains off. <laughs> so enemies just aren't taking damage off of them. Here, I'm going to reroll this. We don't need any of this right now. And we can do better with a level 3 upgrade. Uh, I think I just need melee damage. 
We will definitely take this warrior helmet. That will help us a lot. Let's reroll here. Broken mouth is still worth three max HP. Let me find an item, please. Do I want this blindfold? We're never going to build um, dodge, so I'm just not going to. All right, so we're going to wave nine with no weapons. You, you won't normally see this in one of my builds, but uh, here's where we're at. And I'd like to reiterate that I have brought this on myself. Once I start finding some tier 4 items and the king's buffs start ticking, start kicking in where it will actually be in better shape. And uh, we're healing up pretty quickly. Just even two circular saws is keeping us alive in combination with our very high luck and the consumable healing that we've got. I do wish I had that second weird food that would help help us stay alive as well. Um, baby elephant and cyberball really pulling their weight. I saw that loot alien, but I just don't think we had the damage for it anyways. This will be good as well. It's another non-weapon source of damage, and since apparently this is the no-weapon run, um, I, will, I will grab it. I'm not going to take this claw tree. It would cost us three maximum HP for one melee damage. That's just not worth the, the downsides. I think we can do better than a 10 luck upgrade here. Although it's very expensive re-rolling those things, so maybe that was a bad idea, but we need percent damage. Uh, and I'm going to take armor, two armor over 12% speed, I think. Because it's so important for us to get armor. 12% speed would be really nice, but honestly, the thing that we need more than anything is just to be able to stand in the enemies, not dodge them. Take the broken mouth here and roll. Alien magic as well is going to be very good for us, even though, of course, that does decrease our luck, but the HP and HP... The, the HP is really important. The HP regen less so, but it's not terrible. What's going to happen is we're going to get to the end of this video and everyone's going to point out that I have skipped 800 circular saws just by not seeing them in the shop. Here's the, the one item I was hoping for more than any other item now that we have this much armor. The stone skin will help a lot. Do I want to spend 2 health on 10 luck? I think I do, actually. And do I want the blood donation? Um, probably. I'm going to take this level 2 chopper also, even though it's not the the item that we were trying to build. I just need a fourth weapon. Um, I think I will take blood donation. Buying this going into wave 11, it will put us in a little danger from the elite, but I think it's still good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take both of those level 3s. It will be dangerous buying the blood donation going into an elite wave, and it's wave 11, so it will not have like infinite time to pay for itself, but it should be able to. Nevertheless, we pretty much only have consumable healing right now, plus the two circular saws. And that's definitely not enough healing. Um, I was saying that we wouldn't need to buy healing this run because we'd end up with with a bunch of circular saws, which would be all the healing we'd need and more than that. But given that we haven't found any of those, uh, our healing is, is weaker than it could be. That said, we're still at the point where because we have really good armor, we can move through these groups of enemies with somewhat with impunity getting decent income going now, so that's starting to be good. Defective steroids will cost us 2 HP, but give us 2 HP. I think it's worth taking. Shackles, do we want to cap our speed? I don't think so. I think I'm going to recycle this. 7% crit chance is a decent increase in damage. I would prefer other things, though, so I think I'm going to reroll this. Reroll this. All right, well, I just spent spent 40 on buying 7% crit chance anyways. And then here, I'm going to take more luck, I think. Both of these other two are very good, but the luck is actually a real component of our damage. Although we're going into an elite wave, so maybe I'm supposed to take speed. But we use luck both for damage and healing, so I think we'll take luck here. 
I'll take this, that will boost our HP. We do lose a little armor, but we go up to 64 HP, which is pretty good going into an elite wave. We'll take the blood donation as well. I will also, I guess, just keep buying choppers because we don't have anything better to do. <laughs> I'm so mad that we haven't found any circular saws, but... I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this elite. It does not look like it, so I'm going to just not hit it. Try to avoid triggering its later phases. And then we'll just focus on clearing these ribcage guys. On wave 11, it's really important to kill these guys before they get too fast and can catch up to you. So our healing is not really keeping up with the incoming damage plus the blood donation damage. Because, uh, like I said, our healing is, is a little far behind. Um, and we've actually gotten very unlucky on tree spawns on this map. Now that I've gotten that loot alien, that's another big burst of healing thanks to all of our choppers. This has really ended up as more of a chopper run than a circular saw run, but what can you do? I mean, if they don't show up in the shops, I can't buy them. I think the run is going quite well, actually. It's just a little frustrating that this is where we're at. I'm going to take this. Uh, I think it's worth spending 34 to trade 6% damage for 10% attack speed, even though we don't use the range damage at all. Attack speed is really good for us right now. Do I want to start boosting dodge? I've minused our dodge a lot, but that is a really powerful component of our late game defensive setup. I think I won't. I'm just going to take the percent damage here. By the coupon, that will still have time to pay for itself. We'll buy the metal plate as well. That's both HP and armor. Nothing here we want. Let's keep rolling. Rip and tear. So we have 18 melee damage. We would lose a bunch of harvesting, but enemies exploding will help us with non-weapon sources of damage. I'm going to take the rip and tear. And then second blood donation I'm going to avoid. When you start taking two damage a second, it's really hard to keep up in healing. It does feel a little off to me that, of course, what's actually, like, the way this build is actually playing out, we're just a chopper build um, with a bunch of luck, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. I guess there's there's a, a fun, I think we were talking about this in one of my earlier videos where I asked people to, like, tell me regional idioms um that's a i don't know if people say that outside of north america that's the way the cookie crumbles for that's just how things are sometimes if you have an equivalent phrase in your own language let me know i'm very curious um, especially if you're a non-English speaker, but also if you speak a different regional dialect of English than I do. I'm going to recycle this to three regeneration is not worth spending two max HP for. And we'll keep taking more luck, I guess. <laughs> Silver bullet might give us the opportunity to actually kill elites and bosses, so I'm going to give that a shot. Reroll. Um, recycling machine is going to be valuable. You do end up recycling a lot on this character, so I will take the recycling machine. I think I actually will take the plastic explosive as well, now that we have rip and tear. That will help that do a lot of damage. Rip and tear scales best with explosion size. Um, I don't need more healing, so we won't take the tentacle. <laughs> Finally, we got another circular saw. We can have our sixth weapon. Uh, very happy about that. We did it. Also, of course, a friendly reminder, as always, as much as I hate harassing you guys about this, um, if you are enjoying these videos, do please take the time to leave a comment, like the video. It helps a ton with the algorithm. Wow, I need to focus on actually playing the game as well, not just begging for engagement. We are taking a lot of damage. Gotta get this these two fruit drops. Woof. Alright. Well, that was such a weird one that I'm gonna post it 
even though we died in sort of a dumb way. And I'm going to try that again. Uh, I think we can, we can definitely have a better result than that. Let's give that another shot. Uh, I distracted myself talk, doing uh, YouTube stuff and stopped playing the game. But um, the blood donation actually put a lot of pressure on us because I had been saying that my healing was not up to snuff throughout basically the whole game. And then I bought this blood donation, meaning that I had to play aggressively to try to heal with only two weapons that life stealed. So that, that was very bad, I think. Let's give that another try, though. All right, so that was my last... The last loss we can get. <laughs> Hoping we can... If I still want to have 80% when we get to 20. We've actually dipped below 80% at this point. All right, already doing better than last wave. We've gotten two more materials than we started last wave with. Or last game with. Um, do I just want attack speed here? I think we can do better if I can start with some harvesting that would help us out as well so I'll do that and I am going to buy um, chopper again I think as a blade weapon because that is the one that is most likely to spawn more circular saws but maybe I just buy coupon and broken mouth right off the start we lose some max HP but coupon will pay for itself pretty quickly I'm gonna lock this and then just go to the next wave I don't know if that made any sense, actually. I should have just bought the chopper and... Uh, I, sh I should have bought um, coupon and chopper rather than coupon and broken mouth. Locked the broken mouth. That, that would have made much more sense. Can we kill this tree before the end of the wave? One more? Yeah, got it. All right. Recycle this, of course, because we don't want to lose max HP. And then I'm going to reroll this, looking for another better upgrade. I'll take two flat da melee damage, I think. I would prefer a level 2 upgrade or more harvesting. Uh, I guess it's worth re-rolling once to see if we can get some harvesting. We can't, but I guess I'll take max HP here. Alright, we'll buy the chopper roll, and I'm going to try to buy another one to see if we can get into... Well, just to get rid of the leveled up weapons penalty. The leveled up weapons penalty is very bad. Losing 15% attack speed, especially this early, is something you really want to avoid, so I'm trying to avoid doing that. I will take the weird food, and I'm going to roll and try to lock another chopper. We didn't get there, but I, I'd like to get to at least three weapons so that we're not stuck in the same purgatory we were in last time. This time, if I see a nuke launcher, I'm just going to take it. Oh, there's a tree. We have gotten the most awkward tree spawn spots I've ever seen. We have to keep running exactly all the way to the corner. It's really messing me up out here. Oh, Cyberball's a great find this early. We can really build around that, much like we did last game, but um, hopefully with better results. Let's reroll this to see if I can get more harvesting. We really don't need to buy lifesteal. Great, eight harvesting is an ideal find here. And then here I'm actually going to start taking dodge. If we can take some dodge early, we can make it a real component of our defensive setup. By the weird food, we do lose two dodge and lose two max HP, but it's still worth picking that up, I think, especially for the early game. I'm actually not going to buy the weird ghost. I think that's part of what set me so far behind last time. A sword, you know what, I'm just going to take it. It's a level two item, um, a, a level two weapon that will really help us actually clear waves and let's buy the coffee as well go to 14 max hp that's fine reroll i'm trying to lock another weapon i guess we we only wait um yeah we, we only have one guaranteed so rerolling to lock another weapon doesn't make sense Yeah, so we're going to try to stick with circular saws, but I'm just going to take swords and stuff as they come because that's really uh, important to do, I think. <laughs> we'll, we just need wave clear. Not having that last game was horrible, of course. I'm playing pretty aggressively, and that's fine. We can heal up pretty quickly. Do 
Didn't break that tree, which is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm going to keep building dodge. Um, now that I've started building it, if I can get that early, it'll help a lot. We'll buy the coupon here. This doesn't cost us max HP because I already have one. So this is just good value. And the cake will cost me two max HP, but we get three. So it's we're basically buying one max HP and making future cakes better. Do I want propeller hat at this point? I mean, I should just buy the sword and, and not lock the hat. We do have a cyber ball already, so more luck is good, but I think more max HP is more important. I guess we're just ending up with a lot of swords here, because I'm going to lock that one. I think the, the all blades build is still pretty in theme, so I'm not too unhappy with that. It does mean that I'm going to need to actually buy healing if we don't find circular saws, specifically. much like happened last game. Um, so I should probably just start buying some HP regen, and then if we if we end up transitioning to all circular saws later on, then that's okay. We, we have a little wasted regen, but... Better that than just dying from having no healing. I won't buy lifesteal, though, I don't think. Um... Because that will be redundant with our circular saws and isn't very good with the choppers and everything. So let's re-roll this and percent damage we desperately need. We're in negative right now, so I'll take that. And harvesting is good as well. That gets us over 20. So here we can buy a cake and only lose and not lose any health. So our earlier purchase is paying off. Throw in a re-roll here. Nothing that I want to buy. Do I re-roll again? I think I do. See if I can lock something good. Nothing here, so let's keep going. Basically on King, you want to try to avoid buying anything but the really most powerful level 1 items. Because you have to then purchase max HP to make up for those things. We could have had about 10% lifesteal if I'd just taken all the level 2 lifesteals I've been offered. The thing I need most now is just damage, I think. Just flat melee damage, as well as attack speed. We've got 10% dodge, so we're a sixth of the way to cap, is one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is that I've spent a lot of my level ups on something that's not really helping at all right now. But hopefully will be an investment that pays off in the future. Do I want damage or luck here? I think I'm going to take the damage. Uh, Shmoop, we lose flat melee damage, which we do need, but max HP and HP regen we want both of, so I'll take it. And then I'm going to reroll. I'll still take the, the ritual here. Scissors gives me another medical weapon, and it's a level 2 weapon right off the bat with lifesteal attached, so I guess I'll just take this. We get uh, a regen off of it, and again, it's not super in theme with the circular saw, but <laughs> apparently circular saw just doesn't show up in chops. I'm still going to buy Ritual. 9% damage for 90 isn't great, but the lifesteal will work with the other weapons, so it's not terrible. And percent damage is pretty important, especially because we've got double Cyberball. At this point, our damage is pretty good, so I'm pretty happy to let these slashers spawn. The thing about um, Circular Saw also that's worth mentioning is that it's a level 2 weapon with 10 base damage, so it's lower base damage than other level 2 weapons by quite a margin. Um, like, you need actual melee damage to boost it. It scales at 100%, but the base damage is bad. So, you actually need to buy melee damage quite aggressively to make it work. I'm trying to kill this thing, but apparently it just keeps getting healed by the healer. There we go, we got that one. We got a dodge from our 10% dodge. Uh, I'm going to recycle the eye surgery. We don't need this at all. We do need 24 materials, and very happy to take 4 melee damage. Hey, we get another circular saw. That's great. Um, as we increase our melee damage and attack speed, these become more valuable. By the ritual as well, and roll. You know what? Plasma sledgehammer? I'm doing it. It's, uh, it's not on theme with any of our other weapons right now, but it's still just an awesome item that we are going to 
be able to scale very well with damage, and I guess the, the king's weapon set is just going to be cool melee weapons is our, <laughs> is our theme for this build. One downside we have compared to last time, we've got much better weapons, of course, but I don't have any armor, basically, so definitely struggling in terms of actually taking damage, uh, of, of resisting damage, rather. The amount of damage I'm taking is, despite our better healing and better um, outgoing damage, we're taking much more incoming damage, so that healing is less valuable per point of healing than it was on our previous build. The Elite is really going to be the real test for this build, again, um, with higher damage, especially if I can find more flat damage and attack speed, we should be able to actually kill the elite, which will make it much easier for us to do what we're trying to do. I will recycle this, and then pick up some speed, because we have none, and 15% attack speed is too good to pass up on, I think, even though I do need max HP quite badly as well. Spicy sauce, yeah, we'll keep taking that, but first I want the plasma sledgehammer. I think I have to combine the sword and try to buy multiple circular saws in order for this to be a an on-theme build still. Do I want compass? I think I'm going to pass on compass right now. Our move speed is fine, and we have better things to buy. <laughs> is, is hammer welcome to join the party as well? I think I'm going to pass on hammer and chopper here, but I'll lock the dangerous bunny. Obviously, we want the Plasma Sledgehammer before Wave 9, because it's going to help us with Wave Clear here significantly. Plasma Sledgehammer isn't that great a weapon, honestly, but it's pretty good in this build, because we <laughs> just need weapons that help with Wave Clear. Ooh, two loot aliens. That was a lucky spawn. Loot alien spawn chance is not affected by luck, so it's not because we have high luck, but we just actually got lucky. Surprisingly, I think it's because I have all these cyber balls. But for a melee character, you don't usually struggle to pick up materials. We're actually leaving quite a few on the ground. Uh, I'll take Pocket Factory over 34 materials. There's a chance this comes in handy. Um, do I want Tyler? I guess not. Even though I did just take the Pocket Factory. Pocket Factory is just really fun, though. Um, yeah, I'm just going to recycle the Tyler. Great to take some max HP there. Here, I'm going to reroll. I think we can do better. And that's perfect. Going up to 54 max HP makes me so much more comfortable with where we're at in this run. Get the Dangerous Bunny. I'm just going to buy these things. And Broken Mouth again. We already have one, so it's more valuable than it would normally be. And of course, flat damage and health is great. We can buy bait here because we're going into wave 10. Reroll again. Ooh. All right. We want all of these. What do I want to take first? I guess uh, I all of these except Triangle of Power. So Panda gives me the King buff, but the level 4 item King buff is just max HP. But it also gives me 25 luck. Is that going to outvalue having the crown? I don't think so. So I'm going to buy the crown, having the crown around earlier. Buy the crown, buy the leather vest, lock the Panda. Now we're in great shape. As long as I don't die randomly to these lampreys. Managed to avoid that so far. So our healing is, is still pretty far behind, because I have two circular saws and very little other healing. This, uh, this run obviously counts as a loss whether we succeed on this one or not, but I really wanted to give this one another go because I thought it was an interesting challenge. And that first run was just so weird. Now 
not, I think, how you expect this to play out, although the fact that we've only found two circular saws so far at this point makes me think maybe that is just how it plays out. Uh, yeah, I'll take this. We've already got crown and everything, so harvesting's gonna be really good, and of course we're a luck-based build, and we can now take 9% dodge and go up to 25% dodge. That will make us able to actually build quite a lot of dodge. This will increase our max HP by 17, thanks to the king's bonus. We do lose percent damage, but now we're at 80 max HP, which is awesome. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to buy the level 3 scissors here. We just have these to sort of fill out a slot. On the other hand, all three other items are good. I can buy two of them, so I will buy the metal and the spicy sauce and save the lure. The reason I'm doing this is just that we are not guaranteed to be able to kill the lure aliens this wave. I've only re-rolled once, so I'll re-roll again. Um, that's fine. Since we're going to be focusing our damage on the elites, we will not necessarily be able to easily kill the lure aliens. So this is typically a very difficult elite for melee characters, so we're gonna do our best. Basically what you want to do is move in a little triangle as it charges you. Um, but in order to DPS it down, you need to be constantly focusing damage on it. So we're probably not going to be able to kill it. It's going to charge with those rings. We have to heal. I did walk into that and that. Didn't walk into that that time. My move speed is lining up very badly with the charge of this enemy because the ring is showing up at exactly the point where I walk into it. Yeah, that was very, very rough. All right, well, that was, I think, the the elite that I got, and I just also took every hit there, was bad for me. We also had 25% dodge, didn't get any dodges. Um, not that that you know, is something you can count on. But with very little healing at that point, because our healing was lifesteal reliant, and we weren't able to focus on that elite, um, the, the difficulty there was I got the elite to second stage, and then uh, let it sit in second stage, and then I just took a bunch of damage from it. And that elite is very hard for melee characters because you can't focus it down as easily as ranged characters can. Uh, also, I just needed to be able to wave clear a little faster while I was trying to dodge around the elite, and I split my attention. Um, things that we could have done better with this build, honestly, I was very happy with the second build. Uh, obviously, the weapon set is kind of nonsense, but that's that's how things rolled. Uh, but the pocket factory was, uh, and I knew it was at the time, was a mistake. Um, we needed maybe a little better armor. Other than that, we honestly could not, I think, have changed that much about the build, given the restrictions that we had and the fact that we never found any circular saws. Uh, so this was a rough one. I'm interested in revisiting this and seeing if circular saw just doesn't spawn like that again, or if that was a little bit of a fluke. Um, all right. Well, anyways, that was, that was fun. A little frustrating just because of the way the weapon sets broke, and I was not expecting to just not be able to build the weapon we were trying to build. Um, that being said, I could definitely have just dodged a little better going into the Wave 11 Elite, uh, both fights, both both waves, of course. We died on Wave 11, 11 both times, and I've mentioned in the past that Wave 11 is the most dangerous wave, so that makes sense to me. All right, my friends, thank you as always so much for watching, and if you've enjoyed the video, do feel free to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to my channel for more of this and other strategy game content. Cheers, folks, and I'll catch you next time.